So I've been asked to fix this thing. Apparently this is supposed to make a noise and the wheels turn, right? And as you can hear, there's nothing. It's also one of these little drag along duck things. You put it on a string and it's supposed to entertain young children or young and heart adults. And it's got a few screws in there. I think I have to pull those screws out. These don't do anything. They just run along. Anyway, we'll pull it apart and have a look at it and see what the story is. Let's fix some children's toys. That's a bit unusual. I've got no idea what we're going to find in here. I'm guessing it's probably some kind of pulley or belt driven thing or something. And that's probably failed. That'd be my guess, but I don't know. I've got no idea what's in here. So it looks like it's just four screws to get out. There's a couple of screws up here too. I don't think they're on the two sides. I mean, they could be on the two sides. We'll find out. It could be part of it. Does want to move, so it's undo does as well. Yeah, that is part of it. Okay. It's kind of stuck together. There we go. Right. Oh, there's actually electronics inside it. Interesting. Alright. Well, that is curious. Right, okay. It's not what I was expecting. It's not a mechanical feature. It's an electronic feature. Let's pull this apart just to make it easy to work on. Little speaker there. Based on the corrosion inside, I'd say that it's got wet at some point. There's a speaker. Let's pull the wires out. Those glued. They've melted the plastic to hold them in place. This is full set open. That's fine. Here we go. There's the speaker looking a bit rusty. The screws are corroded. Circuit board is corroded. This is the pull system, and it's got this spring. Spring sits on there. Sits like this. So it's got a hinge up here. And as you pull the lead, it hinges, and it pulls it down. See what's happening there? So there's a spring which holds that little lever up, which is like the foot. And there's a contact on the PCB just there, and that pushes down. So when you pull this, it pulls that onto the contact and makes a sound. So obviously it's battery powered, has an internal battery, which obviously won't last forever. But it also looks like it's got wet. So let's take this out and have a closer look at it. I think my chances of fixing this are pretty slim. Seeing as it's got wet and it's badly corroded, I mean, it could, there could be the speaker doesn't work, it could be the electronics itself is dead, or oh, there's two bits there. So one's holding the top cover on, one's holding it in place. It's all got to come out anyway. And that will split here somewhere. Come on. It'll split there somewhere. <laughs> Let's force it open. You've got to get in there. Go, it's one side. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Batteries. Very old leaked batteries. 2007. So this is 15 years old. And it looks a bit munted. <laughs> munted is a technical term. So you got a chip on board on a blob. There's the contact. Just give us a bit of a clean up, shall we? Let's give it a bit of a brush. Looks marginally better. Yeah, so you've got resistors and stuff here which have gone, or they could just be solder pads actually. There's a contact which is supposed to enable it. Obviously this is power on those two leads there through these batteries which have all leaked and corroded. Yeah, this isn't looking great. So obviously this particular toy is designed to have a limited lifetime. You know, non-replaceable batteries, typically non-replaceable batteries, I wouldn't you know, expect people to dismantle anything to get to the batteries to replace them. So this is meant to be a throwaway item, in a way. This wasn't designed to be user-serviceable, user-repairable, because you know, they would have put in different batteries, put in a few AA batteries or something like that, or AAA batteries, somewhere where you could access them. 
I mean, there's plenty of space. You know, all that space in there. You could have had a battery holder. You know, in the side, you could have like a three battery holder in here, triple one. So three 1.5 volt batteries could have been in there. Side by side, we could have an access hole on the side for screw to secure it, so it's safe for children. Yeah, doable. Yeah, so this was not designed to be something which is going to last. So it's a Tomy brand. Anyway, I've got to see if I can get these batteries out of here because they're kind of wedged in. Hmm. Here we go. Starting to move. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> well, we can actually do some basic tests with this as it is. Let's give us a bit of a scrape just here, clean the worst the corrosion off, just like that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this has got wet as well as having leaky batteries. So I think it's more than one thing going on here. Yeah, those contacts are basically gone actually. The scrap does corrosion often, you know, with that, and it's basically destroyed it. Yeah. Not much left of that. It's fixable still. It's still fixable. There's other ways of doing these things, but if this works, I can do something. But I'll be really surprised if it works. Let's give it a go so we've got some power. And this is what's on the other side of the circuit board. A couple of capacitors which are also looking worse for wear. 100 microphone caps. Yeah, they're probably bad too. It could just be normal corrosion. They could still be okay, but I doubt it. It's always a capacitor. Well, I've got power hooked up to it through these. I've got them clipped on. I've been sort of moving around trying to break through the corrosion. So there may or may not be a contact. Let's see if I can get something through this. Doesn't seem that way, does it? No sound, there's nothing going on. I think it's dead. Yep, she's dead. So I was giving it a clean up with some IPA so we can see a bit more detail about what's going on here. And you can see just that it links this pad here, this large pad, which had these little fault bits in between those contacts there, onto this pad here. So we're short between this pad and that pad, it should do something. All right, it should do something. So let's try this again. Nothing there. It's definitely dead. So we can confirm we're getting power to the board just by probing with this to make sure we've got constant connections. There and there, we go there and there. I think that should be basically the same pad anyway. We'll do there. Get past the corrosion on the board. So we are definitely getting voltage there. Can we get a better point there maybe? Yeah, you're getting some voltage on the board. But it's not good. So let's just chill and clean these up and get actual better voltage connections going to the board. Right, so I scraped around these connectors a bit more. Let's see what we get now. There we go, I'll get five volts onto the board there if I get a decent connection. So the chip should be seeing five volts or whatever supply voltage is. So let's try this again and see if we can get any life out of it. Completely dead. Yep, does not work. Oh well, it could be the speaker, I don't know. We could be shorting out on the speaker, it could be it's actually the chip is dead because the corrosion's got into there. Could be those caps on the back which need replacing, but I don't really want to do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it as no good. That's a shame. Failed repair. Thanks for watching. Bye. Check out the other videos.